2014 AP Macro FRQ number two. Uh, a lot of activity on this one in the last few days. Assume the Federal Reserve targets a lower federal funds rate. So you just need to understand that the federal funds rate is the rate of interest that banks charge one another. It is just bank to bank loans. So if that's just an interest rate that bar that banks charge one another, um, they say what open market operation does the Federal Reserve use to achieve the lower target or the low to lower the federal funds rate? Well, we know that when the money supply increases, usually when the Fed buys bonds, that when the money supply increases, nominal interest rates go down, investment is going to go up. Obviously, that affects aggregate demand going up, price level going up, real GDP going up, output going up, and unemployment going down. So this is your causal chain of thinking. But all we really needed to know is that when nominal interest rates, when the money supply increases, nominal interest rates go down. That's going to make the federal funds rate go down also. Uh, what will happen to the price of government bonds? You need to know that interest rates and bond prices go in opposite directions. So if interest rates go down, bond prices go up. If interest rates go up, bond prices go down. Now, I don't know that I've ever seen them ask you to explain this, but you just need to be able to know that they have an inverse relationship. Uh, using a critical label graph of the money market show the effect of the open market operation from part A on the nominal interest rate. So we have we know what's going on. Let's just draw a graph. Uh, nominal interest rates on the vertical and money supply vertical. And then demand for money, quantity of money on the bottom. Uh, we know the money supply increases probably due to buying bonds. Money supply increases, shifts to the right. That's going to drive the interest rate down. And that makes sense. If there's more money out there in the banks, then the banks make money by making loans. So they're going to lower their interest rates so that they can shovel some of that money out as loans um, so that uh, they can make more profit. So again, money supply will increase, interest rates will go down. Assume the Federal Reserve buys government bonds from commercial banks. Based only on this transaction, will the level of required reserves in the commercial banks increase, decrease, or remain the same? So this is referring back to T accounts, which some of you have done. Um, the idea is think about it like this. The way that we set these up is we have the liabilities over here, assets here, uh, required reserves, excess reserves. Uh, and then demand deposits over here also could be called checkable deposits. you got to know both of those are the same thing. But if this bank has $5 million in bonds, $5 million in bonds, and it says the Federal Reserve buys these bonds, well, that whole $5 million now in that category of bonds would drop down to zero. All of that $5 million would go into excess reserves. In essence, the Fed buys all the bonds, so this would turn into they have zero bonds now in the bank, but they did get paid for the bonds, so XL, that money would flow into excess reserves. And then they say, will the level of required reserves increase, decrease, or remain the same? Well, if the bank owns the bonds, the only reason required reserves or your RRR is set up if it's 10%, the amount of money that has to go into required reserves is 10% of checkable deposits or demand deposits. Quickly, if somebody puts $100 in the demand deposit and the RRR is 10%, $10 has to go into required reserves. $90 would flow into excess. But bonds owned by the banks has nothing to do with demand deposits or checkable deposits. So it would be remain the same because that bonds are not demand deposits. Another monetary policy action involves changing the discount rate. Define the discount rate. Now, the discount rate is one of the three tools of the Fed. The discount rate is just what we call Fed 
to bank loans. If a bank needs a loan, it can go to the Fed and borrow at the discount rate. They don't tend to like to do it. Borrowing the Fed is like borrowing from your dad. They ask you all the hard questions. What have you been doing with your money? What are you going to spend it on? Can you spend less? Uh, nobody likes that. Most of the time, if a bank needs to borrow, it'll go to the federal funds rate because that's bank-to-bank -bank loans. That's like borrowing from your friends. They don't ask the hard questions. So the discount rate is borrowing from the Fed, and I think that's all you need there. All right, guys, be safe. Take care. See you soon. Bye.